What is going on guys, Austin Nerdjo here, back again bringing you another Marvel Legends set. This time we have the new, I guess, Deadpool slash X-Men wave, I don't know exactly what you call this. Um, but it comes with the Build-A-Figure of Sauron, which is like a giant pterodactyl guy, so we'll see the parts here in a second. But in this wave we have, um, I kind of, I'll just switch these around. I did them in the order that they're numbered on the back, so as you can see they're numbered on the back there. I did them as ordered, but now if I switch them around, we'll have Deadpool on the left hand side. X-Men characters on the right hand side at least because I'm telling by the symbols on top so I have X-Men and Deadpool on that so starting off here we have Omega Red and I don't know what you call this Deadpool it's just a Deadpool but he's in like an X-Men costume and then has a weird hat and mask and stuff so we'll look at that I don't know what that's all that's about we're with this set we're going into pretty deep into like the Deadpool like comic books and stuff so I don't know on that so we've got those two then next up we've got Wolverine as in the female Wolverine or X-23 where she actually takes up the mantle of Wolverine and then we have Deadpool here in his underwear with hearts on it and there you can see Sauron the pterodactyl head and everything so there we've got those two and then the last two out of the set here is Bishop and Lady Deadpool so that's kind of cool that we got both these there's a new Bishop because I think there's only been one other like the toy biz ones or whatever you call it so we have the new Bishop and then a Lady Deadpool for the first time. And so that is all of the characters. So there you can see on the back the Sauron. So there's what it looks like there. So we'll see that at the very end. And then there's all the characters. So let's go ahead and open each one of these and do our usual thing where we take a look at each one. And we'll build Sauron at the very end once we get all the pieces together. So let's get into it. And we're going to be starting off with our first character here which is Omega Red. Now I want to preface this by saying I don't know much about anything of the like most of these characters. So um, you're going to have to just bear with me that I don't know exactly what they are, what their powers are and stuff. I didn't have time to look it up like I usually do. So I'm just going by the seat of my bands on this one. But let's start out with Omega Red, which I have heard of before and have seen him before in like comics and uh, X-Men games and stuff. So I know just a little bit about him, such as that he went through the Weapon X program like Wolverine. And so that's why he's all weird and stuff like he is, but I don't know exactly his powers. But let's take a look at him up here. So by far, I don't know if you can really see, but like size-wise, he's pretty big. So like especially picking him up in the box it's like the heaviest out of all the set so you can definitely tell the difference there but let's look at his face so up here we'll start off with his hair so he's got the long blonde hair with the ponytail going in there and then the uh, band around his head with the Omega logo on it so he's as you can tell, you know, Omega Red, and then he's all red, so it just kind of all fits together. So there is his face, so he's got an all-white face, looks like he's got bluish eyes, maybe? I can't really tell what color. They look red with, like, an outline, so maybe just, like, a mascara type thing, but they look bluish to me. He's got the yellow eyebrows and stuff. Then he's got the nasty, like, snarl on his face, whatever, with these, like, uh, mechanical parts coming off his face. Again, I don't know what they are. I assume it's just part of the Weapon X because part of his stuff is he had, like, cybernetic stuff added to him is what part of his powers were. So there's that onto his face. You can see around the side there and everything. Then going down into a suit. So he is got an all red and white suit color here, which just notice you real quick which we'll look at it changes colors from like a dark red to a light red when it gets to his feet but the like light red's not used anywhere else but except for it looks like maybe these parts here for the butterfly joint but um I, I just think that's weird that they didn't just use all the same red color so up here he's got some shoulder pads on so you can see these two giant shoulder pads which are attached to what look like suspenders that have a bunch of I assume to be bombs or something on don't really know which attached down to his belt there and I like how they did like a metallic silver on the belt buckle there to change it up from just the gray the rest of it was then he's just all red underneath so like a red jumpsuit part thing then he's got his arms which I would assume to be bare arms since it matches the white of his face and you can see some like muscle veins and stuff going on there so he's got of course the butterfly joint as I mentioned there so you can move the arm back and forth which helps because of the limited shoulder movement because of the shoulder pads so that's cool then it has the uh, bicep twist there then of course a double elbow joint there then going on he's got these pads on his arm here just you know like some gauntlets hold on and then he's got the red gloves again with the silver and then omega logo on that which is awesome then he's got this part which is like part of his like biggest part of his powers are these things that shoot out of his arm these like tentacles cybernetic tentacles 
Um, and so that's part of what his powers are. So he can like wrap people up. I think they do electricity too. Again, I, it's been so long since I've seen Omega Red in anything. So I don't remember exactly what he does. But the, he just like shoots out tentacles and they're like whips and stuff. So he's a lot like a Whiplash in like my opinion from the Iron Man movie and stuff. But he's got that so it's cool. So he's got that on both arms as you can see. So he's got two different size tentacles there. One's more straight and this one has a little bit more of a curve to it. And then go down again we get into the color change of the legs i forgot to say he does have the ab crunch but it's you know because of the belt and stuff you can't really do that but he does twist at the um waist there and then of course up at the hips he has the joint the ball joint so he can twist his legs all the way around then he has the twist on the upper thigh which is really stiff and again i like to always get the like muscles lined up on there and stuff then he's got knee pads on and so he's got these shiny knee pads that look like animal faces but i assume that's just the design but it is a double knee but because of the pad it just doesn't bend the top one very easily and then it's just right all the way down to the feet where of course we have um can bend back and forth and then it can go side to side as well as usual with all the joints um so that's pretty much all we'll do for the guys because they'll all be the same unless they have some little tweaks or something and then we'll look at a female one and stuff so there's all of omega red and so if you want to switch out his tentacles to get bigger ones he does come with some bigger ones i assume you just pull those out i thought these maybe went somewhere else but i'm pretty sure you just pull them out and replace them so you can add these longer ones if you want maybe wrap somebody up or something with them as well and then for sauron we get our first piece which is his left leg so we've got that real skinny uh, dinosaur leg going on there we'll stand up and just to read from his box for the variant says a former russian crime lord and agent arkady rosovic is used as in the weapon x project combining mutant abilities with weaponized cybernetic appendages so there it kind of explains his whole like tentacle arms there so that's gonna be for omega red then next up we've got our first Deadpool out of the set and again I don't know the whole like backstory behind these like figures and stuff and what they come with so I'm lost on most of this stuff. The only thing I have is obviously what stuff I do know about Deadpool and then like the connection to the movies and stuff like Deadpool 2 and everything. So here we've got Deadpool so he's got his classic looking mask on here so it's the all red mask. It's got the little tail on the back that I like the most on Deadpool. Then it's got the blacked out eyes with the white eye in the middle there you can see he's kind of doing a weird look so he's got more open eye on that side than closed on that side then we get into his outfit which is an x-men outfit so you can see he's got x-men there on his chest then he's in the all blue and yellow with some red going in there too probably being part of his outfit as well it looks like his belt's all crooked and messed up that's what i hate about these marvel legend figures these like parts they put on them is that they don't they're like just loose i wish they would just attach them there it's kind of more on him so i don't know if that's supposed to be that the outfit's too small and so his like red outfit underneath is sticking through you know on the arms and then the waist and stuff not exactly sure but um so he's in an all x-men outfit because obviously he at, i know at some point he does join the x-men or he's a part of the x-men team so he wears you know an x-men outfit as deadpool and stuff but as i um, read the back of the box this is supposed to be like it was in the move deadpool movie where he you know was trying to join the x-men finally and but things go wrong so he pretty much gets kicked out and so he's like i'll just make my own team but instead of being the x-force he's still got the x-men outfit on so they're going down we've got the x-men and so the one thing i don't like is i like the um yellow with the light blue x-men outfits where this is like a really dark blue it's like got a green tint to it almost i don't know if you can tell in the camera at all but i don't like that color they chose but there it says x-men on his chest he's got the x-men logo on the belt the x there and then going down as i mentioned you can see in the arms the red so like i said i assume it's supposed to be like his outfit being to this x-men outfit being too small and his red sticking out underneath or that's just design i don't know and he's got the yellow gloves on there you can see and then obviously on the belt as i mentioned you got all sorts of pockets because he is created by rob lifefield i think is his name who likes to give pockets to everybody and then going down he goes back into the x-men oh he has the trunk parts on there then he's got the legs of the blue dark blue color going down into the yellow boots and again there's those things again that just fall down and i hate them i wish they were just attached and you wouldn't have to worry about it, but they got the buckles and stuff making the feet. And then on his back here, he does have this, you know, not a uh, sword. Uh, I don't know what you'd call this thing, but it, um, I don't know what these things are called. But, it's, you know, it's got like the backpack type straps or just the straps that go around the arms. And then it holds 
the uh, she's for the sword for his swords I should say in the back there so you can have that and so that's really all there is to that Deadpool there's nothing special he does he does have the exact same joints as Omega Red so he has the butterfly shoulder which I know they're starting to do in a lot more characters which is good for posing and stuff so I really like that they're doing that and everything else is the same no other new joints beyond that so let's see if we can get him to stand up here and both of his feet things are falling down and it's just annoying so there we've got the Deadpool, and to go along with him, of course, we have his two swords that go along so you can stick them in the back of the sheath back here, so you can just stick them in like that. So there he's got his holster, or his swords back. Then he comes with a gun like this, again, a, just an oversized crazy looking gun that I have no clue what it's even supposed to be, it's just a giant gun. And then the part that I don't understand is this whole mask and hat thing. So here we have a yellow mask. This reminds me of the mask, you know, like the Jim Carrey movie. But instead of the green face, it's yellow. So there we've got the fit head you can obviously switch off. I would thought maybe by the yellow, it's just supposed to be like, you know, he was in the X-Men. And that's just what his face would look like. And it just completely rolled off the table. But the yellows don't match at all. So I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. And I meant to look this up. But again, I did not have time. So I'm sure someone will say in the comments. But I will have known by then. Because I will have looked it up myself. Uh, but yeah, so we got the mask. And then he comes with this giant, like, yellowish, blue, or purplish, yellowish, or bluish purple hat. <laughs> I'll spit it out. That you can also put on it. You know, like an old-timey like medieval looking hat that you can like put on there and make that his head again i have no clue what that's to do with anything but it looks fun and entertaining and something like deadpool do and then for sauron we have the tail so it's just a long lizard like tail with the feathers there on the end and so from his box says so i didn't make the cut for the school super mutant team so what i'm on my own yellow clad spandex wearing most popular girl in school cheerleader my mom would be so proud and so of course very fitting for deadpool and funny and everything and i think that works out quite well so that's going to be it for this version of Deadpool and our second version of Deadpool here which is very fun because he's in his underwear with hearts all over and stuff so here we've got Deadpool and so up top he's in his classic looking outfit here um, just he's got his mask up so you can see he's got his mask up revealing his face and you can see his burned and scarred face again looking like Freddy Krueger and everything but he's got a nice big smile about it so he's all happy and everything then going down we've got his black and red classic looking outfit here so you know the red down the center with black on the arms there then he's got these black leather gauntlets on there protecting his arms of course doing weird stuff with his hands and so he's got that on both sides. Then going down, he's got a belt on here, which of course has like a gun holster, the Deadpool logo, um, some pockets, looks like some grenades. I like that. They should have painted them a different color though. And so he's got just a bunch of pockets and everything there. Then going down, we've got his boxers there with Deadpool um, hearts on it because they have the Deadpool eyes and the heart and stuff. It's you know kind of like his logo and everything. Then going down, he's got his bare legs and you can again see the scarring and burdenness of his legs that looks nice you can see some of his muscle and stuff through there then go down he's in pink slippers and on this foot he has a, a gray sock it's got a hole in it and stuff and it's half pulled up and everything very loose fitting sock and then this one he doesn't and then he's just got these pink fuzzy slippers on as you can see the detail they put into him which i really like and so this is just a funny looking deadpool and stuff and um, i like how it came in the box all posed and stuff like he was just sitting back and relaxing and everything in the box does say something about what this is and everything. Um, really, there's not much to him. So he does not have the butterfly joint on the elbow, uh, shoulder there, but he just does have the normal regular joints everywhere else. Nothing is different, even, you know, on the sock foot and everything. It's still all the same. So just no butterfly joint on the shoulder there. And then he comes with some weapons, of course. So he's got this larger gun here. Again, I don't know what it would be. Or what? It's just a weird, strange-looking gun. And then he's got a little handgun, which I thought was funny because I'm like, oh, you can put the handgun in the holster, but it is way too big to even fit in the holster. So I think that's just kind of funny that they, you know, made it look like, oh, he's got, you know, a gun that can go in a holster, but then they gave it the whole classic Deadpool thing of giant oversized guns. So I really like how they did that. And then we've got Sauron here. So we've got the main part of Sauron, the head and the upper body here. So there you can see the beak and everything, which we'll look at more in detail at the very end of this giant pterodactyl looking thing. And he's got the um, like skirt part on there or loincloth or whatever. So that's going to be it for the Sauron piece. And from the box, just to read out, it's kind of funny. It's like a little skit thing. It says, la 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 la. Oh, hi there. Been there long? What's that? What am I wearing? Well, this is a pretty little number. Is a look I like to call Deadpool and Chill. 
So there we've got the little thing on him. So he's in, you know, just his relaxing part. When he's off work, like in the Deadpool movies, when he's back at the blind lady's house and just sitting on the couch and everything. This is like what he would dress up. Just Deadpool and chilling and everything. So that's going to be it for Deadpool. And next up here, we've got what's labeled as Wolverine. But of course, if you saw the Logan movie and stuff, you know, this is X-23 Wolverine's clone daughter. At least I believe she's the clone daughter or something. I'm get her confused with uh, Dakin or whatever his name is, the son. Um, but she is the daughter of Wolverine, as you saw in the movie. But this is when she takes up the mantle of Wolverine and wears the X, joins the X-Men and everything and wears, you know, his very similar looking outfit. So this is colors I like much better. The yellow with the lighter color of blue and everything. So I like this a lot. So let's start out. So there she's got the Wolverine looking mask on. You can't adjust her head because of her hair, how it like wraps around her head here. So obviously you can go side to side but like she's like looking down and I want her to look up but you can't because of her hair so that's kind of annoying so she's got the wolverine mask on there again with the yellow and blue and then the hair coming out of the back the long flowing hair as you can see there then going down again it's the classic x-men looking outfit here of the yellow and blue um and so of course she is a female so she's got thinner joints so she has the elbow that can move you know just up and down like that and then you can obviously rotate it around then she's got the really the one joint elbow joint which is you know these always scare me because they're so thin and stuff and i'm afraid, afraid they're gonna break but you can see it goes you know from the yellow to the blue on the shoulder yellow again and then blue all the way down for the like gloves or whatever then she's got the claws so again if you saw the movie she only has two claws compared to wolverine that has three on her hands but she does have three claws total on each side so six all together but she only has two on her hands as you can see there which i like that i think it's cool then going down of course she does have the i guess what you call ab crunch but on the females they're more twist because they don't really move back and forth they just twist side to side and i did like they add the like uh I guess they call them like tiger stripes or something because it's usually what they call like the classic Wolverine. But the uh, uh, like slashes or stripes there on the side, I like that they added those in. Then going on her belt, she's got the X-Men logo there and then just the leather belt and everything. Then going down, continuing on with the X-Men colors, going down to the boots that again look very similar to her father's very similar design and everything. And then we get into her other two claws that were missing. They come out of her feet, which we did kind of see that I think in the Logan movie. Um, so you got to see the claws come out of her feet. And so these are permanent claws which are thicker and heavier compared to like these you know that can easily break or get bent and stuff these are thicker and so they um did really good because i was afraid you know when you try and stand them and all sorts of stuff it, you could possibly you know break them off and everything and so she's like i said got all the same female joints then it's just all the same leg joints double knee feet and everything else is the same as the men just the shoulders and stuff because of how skinny they are now let's see if i can even get her to stand up because she was hard to get up. I will just leave it like that. Um, the only other thing she comes with is an unmasked face. So there you can see her there. So there's what she looks like without her mask on and stuff. And so there's her hair and everything. So if you don't want that mask on, which ours, I don't know if you could see, is kind of dirty. It's got like a dirty mark. So we'll probably have to clean that up. And the face just doesn't look the best. Like the yellow and stuff looks kind of dirty. But you can switch that head out if you want to in case. And for Sauron, we get one of his arms and wings so there we've got his left arm and the giant wing here that you can obviously fold out and do all sorts of stuff with he's got the elbow joints that you can you know move and everything there so he's gonna have giant wings so that's awesome we got that and from the box it says laura kenny uses assassin training paired with powerful claws to take down anyone who makes a mistake of crossing her so that sounds pretty dang cool and very mean and angry like her father so that's gonna be it for wolverine then next up here we have Lady Deadpool and so by the name on the box which we'll read here of course in a second um, that or she's some relation of Wade Wilson or the original Deadpool. I don't know if it's his wife or a sister or something but it's some sort of relative of his because of the name. But let's take a look at So of course she's dressed up just like the classic Deadpool so nothing too special going on with the outfit here compared to you know normal Deadpool. So there we've got her face. Again got the same eye design and everything as the classic Deadpool but then instead of a little point on the back of its head she's got her hair hanging out so she's got you know like the ponytail and then her long flowing blonde hair that sweeps down and everything and goes you know it's a really big set of hair so she must have really long hair in real life but we've got that thing going down so she's again just a classic deck pool she has all the same joints and body parts as wolverine so nothing new to look at or go on to there um then she does have the same sort of things on her back you know like the straps but it doesn't have the parts for the sword so you can't put the uh 
uh, swords in the sheaths or anything. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, then going down, we've got her belt again with the Deadpool design or type logo, but ours has a paint issue there with some silver missing. And then she's got a bunch of pockets on her belt, of course, because she's got a match with Deadpool and everything. Then going down, she's got more straps there on her legs. Again, you'd feel should be like uh, holsters for guns, but they're just more pockets and everything and going down to her feet. And all the joints, like I mentioned, are exactly the same as the Wolverine. So nothing special look out there just you know and her outfits you know just the same as Deadpool so it's you, there's nothing really special to look at here just that it's a female so it's pretty much just the head up that really matters on this figure and then of course the skinniness and stuff that makes it the female Deadpool but she does come with some stuff so first things is the sword so she does come with two swords and I like these because they have the red handles and everything with the black centers but she doesn't have the holsters for them, or the sheaths or whatever so you don't have any place to put them so you just show she would just have to hold them then we've got this which i don't know much about this is like a deadpool head out i've heard the name headpool i don't know if that's what this is called but it's a the head of deadpool i would assume and you can see it's a pretty nasty looking face there so it's got you know the eyes and everything like the deadpool mask that's pulled up it's got no nose oh it just fell off the thing and the mouth and stuff, it's got the chin strap probably helping to hold the mouth up because it looks pretty dead and rotted and everything. And then it's got this uh, helicopter hat on. I don't know what they call these exactly, but you can spin the little helicopter hat and stuff. But the way it's designed, you can put this on the figure if you want. I assume this is the male Deadpool and not this female, so you wouldn't want to probably put it on her. But like the other Deadpools, you could probably put this on instead if you wanted to. Um, but then it also has a hole in the center so you can put it on this clear stand thing so you know you can stick it on there and then stick it back by her and so it looks like it's a floating head and since Deadpool can't die and stuff I'm sure the head would be talking and stuff so you know it's just like floating in the back here along with um, Lady Deadpool and stuff but then uh, the other piece comes with for Sauron is its right leg so we're almost done with Sauron there so we've got the last leg of it and so that's it for the Deadpool let's so from the box it says also known as Lady D Wanda Wilson so again Wanda Wilson that's why I assume it's either his wife or sister or some sort of relative suits up as Lady Deadpool and takes fighting the power to new heights no really look how high her ponytail is so again it's referencing even the ponytail and stuff there and making jokes and stuff as Deadpool would with everything so that's gonna be it for Lady Deadpool and our last character here is Bishop. So again, this is not a character I know much about, but I have heard of him and, you know, seen him before and everything. Um, but my thing is, I believe he's kind of like Deadpool. So he's someone from the future, and I don't know if he comes back from the past or if he just does stuff in the future. But I know he's a futuristic person and everything. And he has the M on his eye, which, of course, we'll look more at his, um, into his thing, which Cable, I believe, also has the M. I don't know if that's supposed to be the mutant or the House of Magneto type thing. I'm not sure what that comes from. But it's like the mark, you know, for mutants and everything in the future. But let's take a look at him here. So there we've got his up close. So he is a black person. So there you can see his face. You know, he's got the dark skin color and everything there. Then he's got the hairstyle of the 90s. I don't know what they call this style, but it's kind of like a mullet. So it's short on the top and front here. And you can see he's got the little curl down and everything. Then the long hair in the back and all that. So that looks really cool. Then going down, we've got his, like, uh, curd. I forget the color, like a kerchief or a scarf or whatever there on his neck. But I like the red color. It adds, you know, some just changes the look up a little into this so then he's got the x-men outfit on of the blue and yellow and i like that so first off we'll go into the straps so he's got straps going on to the back here which then on this side does have a holster for the gun for his gun that he's got so he's got that on there then going down he's got um the straps on his arms and there we have the x-men logo with some sort of logo again i don't know what that is on there but he's got that on the x-men logo and then he's got uh, you know short sleeves there so you can see his arms again going out into black gloves same thing on this side he's got the strap and then whatever that logo is there on that side again i don't know what exactly his whole backstory thing is so i don't know what those logos are if they're even anything then we've got his all blue outfit here with the yellow stripes going down on this side there again you know just a I like the changes they do in X-Men outfits so that, you know, not every character is wearing the exact same outfit. They change it up in different designs and stuff. But then going into his belt, he's got the X-Men logo on there. And then, of course, a belt with patch and stuff again because I believe he was created by Rob Liefeld as well. So it kind of fits along with that. Then going down, he's in the all blue again with the yellow stripe going down into the black boot. So this is, again, another large character like Omega Red that when you pick the box up, 
it feels super heavy, and so it makes him seem, you know, big and menacing and stuff because of how heavy the box is and size and everything. Joint-wise, he does not have the butterfly joint, just the normal shoulder joint there, and then everywhere else is exactly the same, so nothing special going on with him beyond that. But going into his accessories, he comes with the gun, of course, the giant gun here. It's like a shotgun, as you can see there. So he's got that that go in his hand, but you can also stick it into the holster back here and it just slides down and you can reach around, pull the gun out, which it's kind of stuck in there, but you can pull it out and everything so he can hold the gun there as well. And so that's all the accessories he comes with, but then he comes with Sauron's other arm. So we have the right arm of Sauron now with the wing, of course, and everything. So we've got little pieces, so we will be building that next. But from his box, it says, On the advice of his grandmother, Alpha Mutant Bishop seeks out the X-Men and uses energy conversion and concussive blasts to join the ranks of the heroes of legend, the X-Men. And so there you can tell, you know, kind of shows, I don't know whose grandmother is, um, so that'd be kind of interesting. She, you know, maybe someone... Uh, some famous superhero or something or part of the X-Men or I don't know for sure but it'd be cool if it was or something you know and if he is from the future you know that's why I'd be a grandmother and all that but that's going to be it for Bishop so we now have all the pieces for Sauron here so let's go ahead and put it all together and so here it is put together so this is as the box says Dr. Carl Lycos and then it's Marvel Sauron or Sauron as it's labeled and stuff which is just a giant pteranodactyl guy again I have no clue I've only heard this name and seen him before I don't know anything about him so like why he's a giant pterodactyl and stuff um, I would somewhat think it's like the lizard um, you know like where he was doing experiments type stuff and then got transformed into this giant monster don't know for sure but um he's ginormous and looks really cool so here up top we've got the pterodactyl looking head so it's got the long beak with the teeth and it's got the tongue sticking out so the mouth moves really wide and stuff then we got the red eyes the nose holes and everything it's a reptile so it's got like reptile skin and everything then it's got the horn there on the back and all that then it's got its head so the head does you know twist side to side there and then it does have this head joint that can slide back and forth a little doesn't move too much but it goes back and forth that you can adjust there then going into the arm so it's oh gosh i keep popping these things out because they just pop right in and everything but you can adjust the wings out and you know kind of really expand the wings out on him so he's got such a big wingspan but it looks super cool like that and stuff so he's you know got of course i can't get you to see it there you go can kind of see it his giant wingspan going on there which looks really cool and it just looks like a giant evil monster it'd be cool to have him look like he's flying and everything so there we got his arms then going down into his chest and stuff so he does have the ab crunch and he does have all the same arm joints so nothing special there ab crunch which is kind of loose especially with this heavy upper part i guess that's maybe why but i just have to be careful with that then he's got this loin cloth on which you know has the it's all you know leather then has the rope holding it on and then he's got some stuff tied around like pockets and like this bag of stuff and so it's really cool they added that into uh into it and stuff then go down his legs he does have a ball joint at the um, hips and everything then it's kind of like an arm but as his legs so it's got the ball joint and then the you know part that'd be the shoulder and stuff and then it's got the double knee joints there and then the feet and everything so it's funny how they did that usually it's designed a little bit different but for that it's designed almost exactly like the arms and then he's got his claw feet there at the bottom and stuff. Then on the back, he's got the tail that attaches, and it does have a joint that it's like you attach it to, and then it just swivels back and forth, up and down, or whatever. So you can adjust the tail, which, of course, for the giantess, does help hold him up so that you can, you know, stand him up and everything, and then uh, use the tail to help prop him up and all that so again his joints are kind of falling back but that just looks super cool so that's it for this Sauron and it for this wave of Marvel Legends again I don't know if you call it Deadpool wave or an X-Men Deadpool wave not for sure but it is the wave with the Sauron build a figure which looks super awesome so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know which figure out of this set is your favorite or one you want the most and don't forget to subscribe to see more Marvel Legends videos and we'll see you next time